Hey bro, so you wanna quit video games, but you need some activities to do instead of it, right? You won't just sit in your room and look at the wall. This would be very boring and unproductive, right? So, I have 10 activities for you to do instead of playing video games. This is something I did myself. This is something I have experienced when. And so, these activities are productive. Each activity in some way. So, let's start with the first one. And this one actually is the best one for you to do. Not only instead of video games, but just in life. It's reading. Specifically reading books that will help you. Not just fiction reading. Fiction reading is good too, but it's another thing. So, reading. You can find books that you can read. Uh, like books that will help you. Think about what you can improve in your life. Maybe you want to be more social, maybe you want to build muscle, maybe you want to have better diet and find books about these topics. So just whatever you want to improve in your life, find a book about it and read it. The good amount of time to spend on reading per day is like one hour, maybe one hour and a half. I really don't read more than that because I have other things to do, but if you want and if you can, then you can definitely read more than that. There's no, there's never more, enough reading. Like you can read the whole day and it still will be good. Another great thing to do instead of video games is to socialize. You can find friends and go somewhere with them. Just spend time with your family or with people you want to spend time with, with your friends. Again, yeah. The main problem with this is that many people don't have friends. But you can spend time to find friends, right? Uh, just go go outside, go to the park, there will be some people there. Make some friends. I, I mean, I make it sound that simple, but in reality it, it, it is not. So just practice. It comes with practice. The more you practice, the, the better you will be at this. I mean, as with anything in your life. So just practice talking to people. And eventually you will make friends. Maybe you want to make friends with people who are also trying to quit video games. So like, you will have to... You'll be able to watch each other. This will be very... This will be more... Like, um... This will be very productive for you. To have a buddy who will watch you not play video games. And whom you will watch too. Thing number three to do instead of video games is actually will help you with finding friends too. This thing is you can go to some classes. You can take classes like in martial arts, like MMA, um, Brazil, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, just anything you are interested in. Maybe you want to take some music classes, like learn to play some instrument. But specifically, you want to take some like classes when a person is teaching you, not to do it yourself. This will be much more... You'll get much more knowledge from this. And again, you'll meet friends there. You'll meet people who are interested in the same thing as you. So, double benefit. And whatever you will choose, actually... You need to choose things that are productive. So like, don't select something like video gaming club, <laughs> if, especially if you're trying to quit video games. Uh, I recommend swimming, swimming is very good. Uh, martial arts, instruments, all this stuff is great. Uh, there are also reading clubs, but reading clubs is kind of boring for me. Maybe you'll find it interesting. So find some classes. This is the third thing you can do instead of video games. Thing number four you can do instead of playing video games is actually getting more sleep. The reason why I mentioned this is because I did not do this. I played video games so much and so late at night that I didn't get enough sleep. Especially when I went to school because I needed to wake up early. And so I played until 12 o'clock, one hour at night, and I woke up at, at seven or, yeah, at seven. And so I got like six hours in bed, in bed, not even sleeping. Because hours in bed does not equal hours of sleep. 
And so I was sleeping for like five hours or six hours, seven hours at best. So just, you know, don't ignore your sleep. Go to sleep early instead of playing video games. This will actually bring you so many benefits in life. You'll be more social. You'll be, you'll be, more, you'll be smarter, literally. Uh, you'll be more happy. You'll be less depressed. This is all benefits of good sleep. This is a very good th thing to do instead of playing video games. A very good thing. Maybe the best thing of this list. So just do this. And thing number five will be practice speaking. Specifically, you want to practice recording videos or something like this. Like I'm doing right now. Because I noticed that this, like recording videos, really helped me a lot in speaking. Not just because I'm not a native English speaker, but because I did not know how to speak in general. And now I can record like much better videos than I was able to record previously, just because I practiced in it. And this is a very important skill. You will be able to speak much more clear. You will be able to speak much more better, much better sentences to get your thoughts much straighter. And this is a very, very important skill. Especially if you are planning to work in some social environment. Or be just be a popular guy in general. It is a very important for a popular person to be able to speak normally. And clearly. And so that people understand you. And in general, it's just a very good skill to have. So, this is a thing you, that you can do instead of playing video games. And this is a very good thing you can do instead of playing video games. Because again, it will help you in so many ways in your life. Now, thing number six you can do instead of playing video games is exercising. Yeah, thanks Captain Obvious. But many people don't exercise. A lot of people don't exercise. I, I would say 80% of people don't exercise. And so you'll be ahead of 80% of people if you will. And uh, it's not actually that hard. You just need to do some cardio, which is just running. Everybody knows how to run. Just go and run for half an hour per day. It's not that hard. Uh, do push-ups, uh, do squats. Everybody can do this at home. Like, if you have a floor at home, <laughs> I mean, everyone has a floor. You can do push-ups. You can do... Pu uh, no, you cannot do pull-ups. You can do um, squats. If you can do pull-ups, pull-ups are just perfect. Pull-ups is a great exercise. Uh, but if you can do this, I wasn't able to do pull-ups because I didn't have... I just don't have a place to do this. Uh, so, if you can do this, obviously do this. Exercising is not hard, again. Just find some exercises you like and do them. Half an hour a day, it will be enough. Even 20 minutes of exercising per week increases a lifespan by statistics. And so, yeah, it's not even that hard, just do this. And so, thing number seven to do instead of playing video games is you can try looks maxing. Looks maxing is uh, when you improve your look. Improve how you look, I mean. This is very important in life, actually, because people just treat you differently if you look better. This is a fact. I mean, you probably know this because if you look at an attractive person in school or at work, anywhere, he'll always be more popular, right? And so just look for a way that you can improve how you look. Maybe you can buy other clothes, better clothes, better looking clothes. Maybe you can research and implement a skincare routine. Maybe you can find some better haircut that suits you and go and get it. Just spend some time per day thinking about it and implementing this. It will change your life a lot. I'm not kidding. I did this and um, this is a very good thing to do instead of playing video games again because it will affect your whole life not just some one aspect of it but the whole life and so thing number eight is get some sunlight a lot of people are not getting enough sunlight and this is the cause of so many problems in life. Again, this is a this is also a thing that will help you in all areas of your, of your life. You'll be more happy. You'll be less depressed. Again, it's 
more happy and less depressed. It's kind of the same thing. You'll be more productive. You want to. You will have a better sleeping schedule. You will sleep better, actually. Getting sunlight improves your life in all the ways possible. And so just spend some time outside. Go to the park. And you can combine this with exercising. Uh, like you can go to the park and uh, I don't know, do push-ups there. And just, or, or just walk there. Walking is also a kind of exercise if you do it a lot. So get some sunlight. Uh, one more thing about getting sunlight. Don't forget your sunscreen because... 90% of uh, your skin aging comes from the sun, so you actually need to get sunscreen. It won't uh, like decrease the benefits of sunlight in any way, it just will protect your skin. So this is an important thing to consider. So the most cliche thing I left at the end is meditation. It will be number nine. Meditation is so great. Again, it's, it's, again, it's one of these things that will help your life in any way. It will improve your life in a lot of ways. Meditation will develop your prefrontal cortex. This is a part of your brain that is responsible for regulating emotions, regulating impulses, controlling impulses. And just prefrontal cortex is a part of a bigger part of yeah, it's a part of bigger part of, of your brain that is called neocortex. And neocortex is literally is literally you. So your neocortex is your personality. So meditation actually helps you to develop the most modern part of your brain that helps you to be human, that literally makes you human. So this is very important, very important. Uh, I actually have a full guide on meditation. If you want, you can check this out after this video when I teach how to meditate step by step. And so... The last thing, the 10th thing that you can do instead of playing video games is you can learn a new skill or just learn new stuff. This is also, this is kind of, kind of a cliche thing because like everybody says this, but literally just think about what you are interested in. Maybe you want to develop video games instead of playing them. Maybe you want to um, learn a new language. Maybe you want to learn, I don't know what, what you want to learn because I'm not you. I wanted to learn to play guitar, and so I did this instead of playing video games. Just find something you want to do. If you cannot find something, if you don't know what you want to do, just ask ChatGPT what you can do instead of playing video games, like what you can learn, what new stuff you can learn, and just try a bunch of things. There will be something that you like. And so, I hope this video will help you. If you did, write in the comments what you did out of these 10, 10 things. It will help other people that are looking at this, that are looking for stuff to do instead of playing video games. Maybe you have some things to do instead of playing video games. And so write it in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.